Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm going to be using the Ninja Combat plugin by Ninja Bear Studio in order to show you how to set up UI for your character. We're going to be showing your HP, mana, and stamina, and let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is just right click in my content browser, create a new folder, and I'll call this UI. Double click to go into it, and I want to right click, go to user interface, and select a widget blueprint. I'm going to look for the Ninja Combat base widget and hit select, and I'll just call this something like WBP underscore stats and open this up. And now upon opening, you'll see your details on the right, hierarchy on the left, and I'm gonna head over to window and just make sure my view bindings and view models are showing. And these are really important because we have to use view models because we're gonna be using view models for the purpose of this tutorial, and we're gonna be using view models. So in the palette, I'm just gonna look for a canvas panel, drag this into my WBP stats hierarchy, and in here, I'm just gonna also look for a vertical box like so. And inside my vertical box, I'm just gonna go ahead and add three size boxes. This is just preferably how I wanna showcase my HP, stamina, and mana. And now with my vertical box selected, I'm gonna change my position X to 30, position Y to 50, and I'll do a size X of 400, and I'll keep Y as something like uh, 80. And then for the size box, I'm just gonna select all three, change padding to something like 10, while all three are selected, and then I'll do a height override of 50, just to make them pretty blocky so it's visible for us. And inside each of these size box, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a progress bar, so I'll add a progress bar here and in this size box and in this size box. Oops, put that right in here. And now for the top one, I'm going to change the name to health progress bar like so. And then for the second one, I'll change this to mana progress bar. And the third one will be my stamina progress bar. Just like that. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over, I'm going to go over to my health and I'm just going to set the percent to something like 0.5 just for visibility. And for style, I'm gonna change the tint to something like a dark red because it's gonna be the missing health. And then for the fill image, I'm gonna change this to a bright red. And then same thing for the mana progress bar, I'm gonna change the tint to a dark blue. And then the fill image will be something like a light blue, like so. I'll change the percent to 0.5 just to see how it is filled in. And then for the stamina, let's do a light green and then the tint the missing stamina will be a dark green like this and now with my health progress bar selected i'm going to click on this plus sign under the view models tab to add a view model i'm going to select the ninja combat view model and now i'll hit compile and save and now what i want to do is just go ahead and add a view model so i'm going to select this view models tab click on this plus view model right here and i'm going to look for the ninja combat view model expand this and i'm going to look for combat vitals I'll click on select so that we have a list of options that we can go ahead and add and to feed data into our view model. And now from the view bindings, I'm gonna go ahead and select on the progress bar or the health progress bar. And I'll click this plus add widget. And I'm simply just gonna select this pencil icon next to it and look for a percent. And then I'll click select. And now on the right over here, I'm just gonna click on view model combat vitals and look for health percent like so and click select. And that's pretty much all we need. And we can do this for each of our bars. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the mana bar. So mana, I'll click add widget mana progress bar, click on the pencil icon, look for percent like so. And then for the right side, I'm gonna click view model combat vitals and look for magic percent. And then again for the stamina. So I'll go ahead and add stamina progress bar, click on this percent, Add, and then the right side will be the stamina percent, just like that. And now I'm going to head over to the graph and I can get rid of pre-construct and tick. And from the construct, all I need to do is simply just drag out this view model that appears here, drag this out under event construct, get your view model combat vitals, drag this out and look for a bind to ability system. From the ability system, I'm going to plug in the execution pin of the event construct. And from the owner, I'm going to just look for a get player controller like so, and I'll hit compile and save. And now let's go ahead and create our HUD. So I'm gonna go back to our map and next to our, where we created our WBP stats, I'm gonna right click, look for a blueprint class, search for HUD, click on HUD, hit select, and I'll just call this something like Ninja Combat HUD. And I'll go ahead and drag this into the HUD class so that we have that set. And after that done saving, I'm gonna double click to open the HUD class. And from here, I just need to click save, go to the event graph, and now all we need is our event begin play. So from our event begin play, 
I'm actually gonna right click above this and look for a player owner. And from our player owner, I'm gonna drag this out and look for a bind event on possessed pawn change and connect the begin play to this. And from the event, I'm actually just gonna create a custom event and I'll call this initialize stats. And this will actually be where we're gonna initialize our stats and set it to the character that's using this HUD class. So from here, I'm gonna look for an is valid and make sure you select the very bottom one with a question mark next to it. And basically if a new pawn is valid, so new pawn will go into input object, then we are going to create a widget. In that widget, then we're gonna create a widget. And we're gonna create the user interface widget is gonna be that WBP stats that we created just now. And the owning player will be the player owner, which is the same as the one up here. And then after that, I'm simply just going to, I'm gonna look for a set combat actor like so. And the target will be the return value of this create widget blueprint. And the new combat actor will actually be our new pawn from back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect this all the way from here to here. Double click and just drag this down for visibility. And then I want to add this to the viewport. So I will drag out this create WBP, add to viewport like so. And I'll just loop this over for visibility and connect the execution pins as so. And that looks good for the bottom part, but we still have to complete the event to begin play. So what we're gonna do from here is from the player owner, we're just gonna get a controlled pawn. And then after the bind event to on possess pawn changed, we're gonna look for the is valid node. So I'll click this question mark down here and I'm gonna have the return value of the get controlled pawn to check if this input object is valid. And if we have a get controlled pawn, then we're gonna call this custom event called initialize stat. So from is valid, I'm gonna look for initialize stats like so. And the controlled pawn will actually be the new pawn. Head over to your WBP stats and then click on your view models, click on view model combat vitals. You'll see that the creation type is set to manual. We're gonna change it from manual to create instance. And now when I go back to my scene and click play, you're gonna see on the top left that my HP, mana and stamina is set. And you can see when I right click, it's actually taking my stamina and it's regening slowly but surely. But if I spam it, it'll just keep going down. And yeah, that's pretty much how to set up. And that's how you set up your UI. You'll see that my HP bar is black and I'm actually not sure why it's doing that because I set the draw as to this dark red. All right, so it looks like I just messed up my colors a bit there. Uh, I was filling in the wrong thing. But yeah, that's pretty much how you set up your UI for your character, your HP, mana, and stamina using the Ninja Combat plugin. Thanks for watching Coders Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.